YouTube is deleting all your private messages on July 9th, 2018. You will not be able to send messages, receive messages, or read any of your private messages after that date, so you better go read them now before they're gone. Where are your private messages? They're in your Creator Studio under the Community Messages tab. Let me show you where. Go to the Community and then Messages. Now you'll see I actually don't go here, so I have a couple of messages that I haven't read or replied to. All of these will be gone on July 9th. Here is the official YouTube help article behind me talking about this decision. As of July 9th, you will no longer be able to send, receive, or read private messages in Creator Studio. We're making this change because this feature was not widely used and will, be, and will allow us to focus on features and tools that matter most to you. Did this tool not matter to you, private messages? Tell me in the comments below if YouTube is right. Now you can still send and receive business emails. That has nothing to do with the private messaging feature of YouTube. To read this article yourself, click the link down there in the description below. The rest of the article actually talks about how private messaging works and will continue to work until, until July 9th. So have a look and use it if you feel it's helpful. Another important change happened this month in June where you may see more content ID claims if you're using third-party content in your videos. Click that eye where I talked all about that change and what you can do to keep your channel safe. Yesterday, I talked about brand safety on KYC number 10 to keep your channel safe. Some of you asked about this channel behind me where I said it's not okay to provide download links to the games that you are making videos about. Now, some of you thought you're not allowed to put any kind of download links, and that's not true. Let me clarify. Here is a gaming channel behind me, Gamish, Android and iOS, that also provides download links to mobile games. Let me show you the difference. In his descriptions, he provides download links to the official Google Play Store, which is completely allowed. The channel in yesterday's video provided download links to the full game on another website so no one has to pay for the game. That is not allowed. Click that eye to see yesterday's video, KYC number 10 about brand safety in case you want to learn more. And if you want to check out Gamish's channel, the link to it is down there in the description below. Now let's read some of your deserving comments, starting with Cool Man Game, who asked, is my channel brand safe? To which It's Just Jord wrote an excellent reply. Guys and gals, don't give up. At the moment, the Freedom Discord chat server is reviewing channels and helping you out. So anyone who would like to get their channel reviewed to check if they're brand safe or safe from general YPP suspensions and terminations, head on over to the Freedom Discord chat server. The link is down there in the description below. Frosted Fricks did a channel review of Dictator Gaming. If you remember, that was one of the channels that we had no idea why it was suspended. Click that eye to see all the episodes of KYC, in case you missed any, where we go over channels and review them to help you keep your channel safe. So Frosted Frick said, I went over 12 videos all separate on Dictator Gamer's channel and I think I have some theories. First one is the big one and I've always said that many times to many people, you need to have commentary. This is a very important point guys. When you make videos and you don't add commentary, you're just playing the game like everybody else in the world. Your personal voice adds something unique that people will subscribe to your channel for. Remember, YouTube is about the personality, not the content. So if you're not adding commentary, you're not adding any personality. So please add commentary always in all your videos. In all of the videos I clicked on, I found none. I couldn't find a lick of it anywhere. As gamers, we walk a thin line as it is with our content, but fall into a better side when we provide commentary. Without commentary, it's literally copyright as there is no change made to the original source material. I actually don't agree with that, Frosted Fricks. By you playing the game, you controlling the characters in the game, you are creating new content. You're 
making something that didn't exist before. I think that is still fair use as original content, but certainly adding commentary makes it a lot stronger fair use argument. Next theory is the massive amount of Pokemon content on the channel, and that's not usually the issue, but Nintendo does claim all of those videos, whether you are or not part of their program. And that's true. You have to be careful which kind of videos you upload to your channel. If you're uploading videos that have been given strikes or monetization, demonetizations in the past, then you are running a risky line. Of course, you can dispute, but why not just play one of those safe games where there never are issues with uploading footage from those games? You know, like Minecraft, World of Warcraft, and other companies that publicly state it's okay to create uh, videos on YouTube and monetize them with their gameplay. Another theory is as I was scrolling further down, he has a Final Fantasy video that is literally a Final Fantasy song on repeat for 10 hours. Title Final Fantasy 8. Don't be afraid, music 10 hours. That's also crossing the line, I think, guys, because you are duplicating a song and repeating it over and over again, adding no real value. You know, anyone can click right click loop in a video. So if you just play the song once and someone wants to listen to it over and over again, they can just do that by artificially extending the length of the video for no better reason than just to copy the song multiple times. I think that is not good. Is that grounds for a YPP suspension in one video? I don't think so, but perhaps it's the sum of all of these issues that created the suspension. Dictator Gamer is still YPP suspended, sadly. When we disputed, we were told he's going to remain suspended for duplication, but sadly that isn't very specific and we're not exactly sure what is being duplicated other than, as Frost and Fricks pointed out, that particular song 10 times in a single video. I also think just the name Dictator could be one of the indicators of a YPP suspension because it's not brand safe. Dictator is a politically charged word. And remember, YouTube is a platform that's trying to restore advertiser confidence. So it's possible they are using terms like dictator and guns and other charged words as grounds towards a YPP suspension. And again, I think on its own, it would never cause a YPP suspension, but maybe when YouTube added up all of these points that lead towards a YPP suspension, maybe that's why the channel was suspended. When we know more, we'll let you know more because at this point, we're all just guessing. We one mil asked an important question. George, those Guitar Hero videos were from inside the game, and as far as I know, you are allowed to have any material that is in a game uploaded to your channel. That's not true. Do you remember Grand Theft Auto's radio? That is licensed. The music that plays on that radio in the game is licensed for that game. If you put that on your YouTube channel, you're going to get claims and possibly strikes from the music companies who have not licensed that music to you to upload to your channel. Just because something is in a game does not mean it's safe to upload to your YouTube channel. You have to be smart. Music is an obvious one, but cutscenes are also the property of whoever created that cutscene. Maybe just like a piece of music, it was a third party that licensed it to that game, but did not license it to you to upload to your channel. So by using someone else's cutscene, they have a right to claim it or even strike you because of that reason. So my suggestion is, if there's any doubt, don't put cutscenes or cinematic trailers or anything that isn't you playing the game. Just put your own gameplay on your channel to be safe and add your commentary as we mentioned before. DV Apps wrote about our crypto miner. He said, would you consider putting a feature in the crypto miner that would allow us to choose what percentage of our GPU to use for mining and making money? That's a great idea. I will add it to our feature request list Click that eye to learn about Crypto Miner in case you don't know. It's a piece of software we wrote that you can download for free that lets you make money while you sleep. <laughs> I know that sounds like a scam, but it really just solves mathematical problems that are rewarded with crypto that we then pay you in cash each month. In the future, we will also let you keep that as crypto if you want to 
own your own crypto. But for now, you mine with our software and we just pay you in cash each month. Hope this helps. Did you like this short break from the normal KYC Know Your Channel video series? I'm trying to put good videos about YouTube and tips to help you grow together with these KYC videos, but lately they've mostly been KYC videos. Do you want me to do more of this kind of content where we talk about things that YouTube is deprecating or new features that YouTube is adding or new ways to help your channel grow? Tell me down there in the comments below. And the reason, of course, we're focused on KYC at the moment is because that is top of mind of everyone at YouTube as they're working to restore advertiser confidence and never repeat what happened in 2017 again. And in case you didn't know, our goal is to help everybody grow together as a family. That is the spirit of freedom. And we have a mission statement to help you create a career in this digital world. Really, roll it. Part of building your career in this digital world is using the right logos. <laughs> Some of you pointed out that, hey George, in your previous thumbnails, you're using the wrong YouTube logo. I was using the old YouTube logo. So this here is the new, where's my paint? There, this is the new correct YouTube logo. Where do you get it? The link is down there in the description below, which will take you to this website behind me where you can get the YouTube logo in all the different variations, as well as good tips on the rules of how to use the logo, how not to use the logo. And they also give under the partners and advertisers section, good examples of do's and don'ts, and even showing you when you should use the YouTube monochrome logo and not the colored one, and when and you shouldn't be using the YouTube logo in a sentence or on in your YouTube channel banner. These are all good tips that are not all obvious. As you build your brand, eventually you'll need to create a site like this for your logo. So when other people want to use your branding on their websites, they'll know what to do and not do. Do you already have a branding guidelines for your logo? Tell me down there in the comments below, send us a link. I would love to see how you let others use or don't use your branding. All right, guys, till the next episode, who am I? I am your Papa George, George Sunpie, Obi-Wan George Nobi, and many other names you, the beautiful Freedom family, has given me. I am the CEO and founder of Freedom <laughs> for Freedom and the Freedom family where we will always help each other grow together as a family. Keep safe. Oh, how many of you are at VidCon? I didn't make it this year, but I really want to go next year. If you're at VidCon, tell us down there in the comments below what you like about it, what you don't like about it. And I'd love to see you there next year. Till then, I'm George and you've been watching Click that I to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.